Hello, Subom girls. Um, so as we talked about, I wanted to do some juice reviews on some of the juices I got at Slam and upcoming to uh, Pittsburgh. And right now, I'm going to do the Pinup Vapors line. And I have picked up three of the balls from their original line, and then uh, two they, they kind of gifted me that I guess they're coming out with. I don't think they've launched because I can't seem to find any descriptions on them or anywhere that you can buy them. Now before they used to actually come in these really cool bottles. They were like tall, skinny, rectangular bottles. I tried to get them last year at Slam. I kept going back but we'd spent so much money in juice. I was like, can't do anymore. Uh, this time I can barely see them. Like, well that one's actually the best one. Well, I can only really see. But if you get to what is this? Marilyn and Sophia, like you can't barely see anything or read the warnings or the descriptions on them. So, well, I shouldn't say descriptions, but the ingredients list. So anyhow, um, we'll start with Marilyn. Marilyn, they have these, actually they have pretty cute descriptions on them. <laughs> I'm using my phone because I'm not technically shouty and um, didn't use my Nikon, so I'm using my phone as a camera, so I can't actually look up what their cute little sayings are, but they actually have really cute little sayings. But the Marilyn is a uh, butterscotch and caramel vanilla custard. And uh, when I had tried them the first time, I, like I said, I really did like them and I bought the three bottles and when I tasted them, it reminded me how much I liked them. And um, this one, actually if you smell it, it has that, that, that buttercot, buttercotch, butterscotch smell. It also kind of has like a toffee smell in my opinion. Like I get toffee, like I could see, like, if this was a flavoring, I could see flavoring it into the coffee itself, like making a nice little flavor. Now right now, I think caramel, butterscotch, maple syrups are kind of really big right now, along with anything strawberry flavored. Um, and I don't really get, I think the vanilla has a very backbeat kind of taste in this juice. I really would have to say the caramel kind of sticks out the most, but it's actually kind of a disappointing flavor. Like, it's funny when I tried it there at Slam in the cheap little, I think it was a cheap little pen. I don't even know what it was in that I tasted in but it had a really nice flavor. In this bottle, I'm not getting it, or at least not currently. I don't really feel like I'm getting anything. Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things where when, when Nick talks about, Grim Green talks about if aliens came and took everything away, yeah, this would not be a juice I would buy. Like, it's, it's, it's lacking. And of course, sadly, I did buy it. Eek. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting the drips already from it. I don't know why I drip so much on it because now it's gonna like totally flavorize everything else. Yeah, not so great. So I'm gonna pause this video so I can go ahead and burn off the rest because I can't edit, sorry. All right, I'm back. So now we're gonna go to Sophia. And Sophia, <coughs> Sophia and Lana are the other two that I bought. They actually have a cute little description, but yet very, very vague. Like, basically you got this whole sweet, sultry, whatever, and then it talks about that it's lime and tropical fruits. So, we'll see. I think I got it because it made me think of a cherry limeade. Yeah, I bought it because it reminded me of a cherry limeade. All right, try not to drip as much this time. <laughs> The joys of being a weirdo. Yeah, the lime is very, it's very prevalent. Um, and I get some of the tropical. I love Maroon 5. I don't know if you can hear it. That man's dead sexy. But if you're going to say tropical fruits, I don't even know what's 
the background pineapple maybe something citrusy well obviously the lime isn't citrus but I have to say the one thing that's kind of bothering me right now about all these juices is that I feel like my back of my throat, not back of my throat, back of my tongue is being like coated with a layer of something and that, that's kind of bugging. That's, that's actually really bugging me right now. The flavor is kind of good in a weird way. <laughs> or not something you want to hear about a juice. Um, What's really bothering me about these juices, and um, I would have saved this till the end, but I get a really nutri sweet taste, splendid taste to it, like they used artificial sweeteners, um, which I don't know if there's anything necessarily wrong with an artificial sweetener. Uh, I don't necessarily think I like it in my vape, like I want to taste the flavor, I want to taste the sweetness of it, the sugar of it. Oh boy, I think I'm going to sneeze from this. Ooh, I'm going to sneeze. Pretty sure I'm gonna sneeze. Maybe not. <coughs> okay, excuse me. But that NutraSweet taste is really, it's really bothering me. Like, really bothering me. I, I was telling my husband about this, but I, if I would have caught on to that NutraSweet taste when I was sampling it at the time, I probably wouldn't have bought it. It really, it really bothers me. I, I want, I don't want the NutraSweet taste. It's kind of like having a Diet Pepsi. Like if you want the Pepsi, you want the Coke, you don't want the diety, fake taste to it. And that's really getting that. And it's, it's, it's very. So yeah, now we're gonna move on. We'll go to, um, now that's Maryland, we're going to go to Sophia, or oh, I'm sorry, not Sophia, um, Lana. Lana is supposed to be a sweet and sour, tropical, like beachy kind of flavor. And, um, it's sad that it really, the other one I had, it really smells good though. It really smells good. It's just disappointing. So this one, oh, this one smells really good. Like the smell. I think that was one of the things that got me when I was <coughs> vaping it the first time was the, um, the, the smell to it. So yeah, so this is supposed to be sweet and sour. Definitely get the sweet and sour to it. I think probably, yeah, but that, gosh, that NutraSweet flavor, gosh, that really, that overpowers everything about the whole juice. It really... It really just overpowers it. It's, it's disheartening. Because this could be a really stand-up vape. And I have to say, as far as tropical goes, I don't see a lot of tropical flavors. You, you're starting to see a lot of unique flavors out there. You're starting to see a lot of different fruit flavors or combinations that you're like, oh, I've never heard of this before. Or, or people who are... <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, people are either going very unique or they're going very simple. Um, I think baked goods are probably in the moment um, the big thing. Waffles and pancakes and stuff, which I'm getting really burnt on. Yeah, this could have such promise if they would have chosen a different way of sweetening this. I mean, this, this one probably would, would be my favorite. But if you can handle the NutraSweet days to it, then I would say Lana so far is probably the best. Now, these are the two new ones, um, Christy and Rita. And um, like I said, there's no flavor descriptions on them. And I think they're supposed to be launching them later this year or maybe this month or something. Oh, the other thing that, sorry, 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 the drips. The other thing that really bothered me about buying these juices and I don't know if it was because it was at the event or not, is they're all supposed to have these these childproof locks, right? They had that little bottom plastic grommet. None of them were, I didn't, it didn't crack open, they just opened. And so I'm like, what were these used? I don't, that was weird. So what does this smell like? Christy. 
I got a kind of an orangey, kind of an orangey smell. So we'll see. Oh no, pineapple. I'm sorry, that's not orange, that's pineapple. You're gonna say, I no longer trust your judgment, Yvonne. I don't blame you. All right. Oh, we're at 10 minutes on this video. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, see, the same thing. It's not, well, that's just the NutraSweet, but like the flavor of the, the, the fragrance of the flavor is much more prevalent than the actual one. And this is actually a good build. So it's not like it's my, my um, atomizer because, uh, Heck, Joe Liz is this build, so it's not like it's a crappy build, it's a nice build. I've lost all flavor, like all flavor. I'm kind of, maybe, remotely taste that pineapple, but it's not there. It's not. Yeah, disappointing. Alright, now we've got the last one being Rita. So let's let's try it. Come on, open. These actually are locked. Okay, what does Rita smell like? This is very fruity. Very fruity smelling. Oh, this one actually has flavor. <laughs> <coughs> this one actually has some flavor. I kind of get like a cherry, pineapple-y. It's very summery. Very, very summery. I like this one. I do like this one. But once again, that, that Nutri-Sweet flavor. Why, why, why would you do that? Why would you really do juice that way? Yeah, yeah um, I'm sad. Pin up, I, I really liked pin up vapors a year ago, and, um, I don't know. I think they went downhill. Uh, I hate to say it. So, my personal opinion, I would not voice my money again <laughs> on this. I have <clears throat> two extra bottles of these, which probably out of the group, these are probably the better of, the, of all of them, um, that I'm going to add to the, um, <clears throat> the Sub Home Girls Appreciation uh, giveaway that I'm doing in the Facebook group. So <clears throat> somebody, one of you, will get to try, try these juices. And then maybe you can tell me <clears throat> what you thought. but. I don't know. Like I said, those two were probably the last two were probably the better, the best of them all, because the other ones, the the flavoring was just so mute. So anyhow, I hope this was beneficial to you all, and sorry for the cheesiness of my video. Anyhow, thank you, Sub Home Girls. I love you, ladies. You guys are awesome. Bye.